Well, Consol Glass says it's indefinitely suspended construction of a one and a half billion rand manufacturing plant in Nikuruleni. It says there's been reduced demand for glass products due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdown. Yesterday, South African breweries pulled the plug on investments worth two and a half billion rand due to the impact of the alcohol ban. Now, Consol Glass CEO Mike Arnold joins us now. Uh, Mike, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. What exactly was this one and a half billion rand investment set aside for that you've halted? Uh, evening, Devon. Uh, the, the investment was to increase the glass manufacturing capacity uh, in the country by some 10% to 100,000 tons of glass, up to 130,000 tons. Uh, we had actually started the construction of the plant uh, just pre the, the COVID uh, pandemic um, uh, banning of alcohol. Um, but I think we had no choice with the, with the banning of the alcohol in the first phase and now the second phase. Uh, we've lost uh, over two months uh, of sales, um, now going into the third month. Uh, so we had no alternative but to, but to pull the stops on this. Now, presumably the second band, Mike, came as a surprise. And it's a bit tricky for your industry because the manufacturing of glass relies on furnaces. So presumably um, it, 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 it's a bit difficult to turn on and turn off the machines. And I, I would imagine that's where the problem really lies here for you. Uh, correct. We've got uh, 41 furnaces, at least 41 production lines, 14 furnaces across the country. Uh, including um, other glass manufacturers uh, in the market. Um, and you're right, it's, it's not like a gas oven which you just switch off. If you do, uh, the glass inside freezes. Um, it's going, you're going to lose the furnace uh, for at least six months while you're trying to jackhammer it out. Uh, so you have to maintain the furnaces, you have to maintain the heat, um, and that's costing us uh, roughly eight million a day on, uh, on energy uh, and fixed costs. Yeah. But you don't just supply your, your glass to the alcohol industry. I mean, presumably you are making glass for other sort of sectors. Uh, you, you would tell me, though, that this eclipses the loss. Uh, well, basically, we supply 85% in the alcohol industry, and the balance is food, pharmaceutical, non-alcoholic beverages, and the like. Uh, but I think when you lose critical mass and scale, um, it not only then affects the alcohol industry, but it starts to affect the, uh, the other parts of the industry where we supply glass packaging. Um, at the end of the day, uh, we'll become a net importer of glass. You, you, you've mentioned previously, Mike, that as a country we now face the prospect of de-industrializing. Is that a bit of a stretch given that the ban will at some point be lifted? And, and what's been the response to that line of thought from government? Well, we've had a nine-week uh, lockdown. We're going into the 11th and 12th week. Uh, the first lockdown cost the industry one and a half billion. Uh, the second one could be double that. Uh, we just don't have um, uh, credit lines which will extend to just maintaining our operation uh, under those circumstances. So if you lose three, four months of your, of your sales and your production, you can't sustain the business. So as you close furnaces down, um, it will take us six to 12 months to bring them up. We have a total of roughly 20 billion um, asset base in the country. Um, and it would take two to three years to bring them up, if at all. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, maybe we'd lose, lose the industry for up of 10 years. Well, and just a final one, this latest halting of the manufacturing plant investment, does it come with job losses? Uh, well, we haven't, uh, we haven't put the capacity in, so it's uh, opportunity losses of jobs, mm. um, but not, not job losses per se, uh, because we hadn't commissioned the plant. We would only do that if it had been on plan uh, sometime next year. All right, and just very quickly, I mean, the next thing to do now while we're grappling with this debate, what do you think, uh, whose well, court does the ball lie in on this, on this round here, Mike? Well, alcohol industry, together with ourselves and other suppliers into the industry, have been talking with government uh, over the past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, we're hoping to get some resolution, whether it's not an either or, but we, but we have a, a workable solution uh, where alcohol sales can resume. Um, under certain circumstances, which also protect uh, protect uh, lives and, and the health of South Africans. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Mike Arnold is the CEO of Consol Glass. Thanks very much indeed.